what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? African nations are waking up to China and European nations. Yeah, time out for all of that bullying coming into Africa, doing whatever you want to do, getting those sellout leaders, sell out the people, come in and be disrespectful, hurl insults, do whatever you want to do, turn Africa into little China, little Britain, so on and so on. Now, it's starting right now with Kenya. Kenya is saying we've had enough. We don't need y'all to come out here and be disrespectful. Hey, man, you know, it was all cool a week ago when y'all was being respectful. But when your people started tripping, like started being blatantly racist against our people, then... Okay, it's enough of that. It's time for us to give y'all a little bit of that clap back. You dig what I'm saying? See, you got to treat people like you want to be treated. And the Chinese people just don't care how they treat Africans. Look, I'm not making this up. All you got to do is look at the various news clips or any type of uh, personal clips that people may have uploaded on the Internet and you can see what they're all about. There are no clips of Chinese people speaking out against the treatment, the ill treatment of Africans in China. I mean, I haven't seen one clip of any Chinese person abroad or domestically in the U.S. speaking out against the mistreatment of Africans in China. So it's about time that the so-called leaders in Africa start riding for the people, start standing up for the people, start speaking for the people and doing things to benefit the people instead of themselves. And if they can't do it, the people need to ride on their asses, get them out of office. They have no business being in office if they are going to sell the people out to pad their pockets and to promote Chinese interest or even Asian interest in Africa. Every single nation needs to follow suit. Africa doesn't need Europe. Africa doesn't need Asia. Africa doesn't need America. Africa is a rich nation. What Africa need is real leaders to cultivate what they have, their resources, their riches, their intelligence, their education, historical education. Everything Africa needs is right there in Africa. They need leaders who know what the hell they're doing to cultivate Africa's resources and to ride for the people who are overdue for a leader who will put the people first. I'm sick and tired of looking and seeing these damn African leaders sell out Africa. Now, I'm sick and tired of seeing them sell out in America also, I'm sick and tired of seeing the black sellouts in America. But we're working with a different dynamic here in Africa. Black people are the majority in Africa. So there is no excuse for black people to be second class citizens in Africa. Absolutely no excuse. Money should never come into play when you start talking about your dignity. You start talking about your historical place. Money should never come into place. The ancestors 
got to be rolling over in their graves in Africa at the way some of these leaders have sold the people out. These fake fraud ass leaders got to go. The Africans need to stand up. Y'all know who the dirty lowdown sellouts are. All of them got to go, not just the presidents, but those other uh, dignitaries in Africa who are helping to sell out the people. They got to go. And Africans need to be okay with that. The one thing that I would like to see besides Africa, uh, Africans like rally to put real African leaders in place to help build up the nations in Africa. I like to see them have a serious discussion and then plan and then course of action to build up its military. Because you know, you got haters out there. And soon as they see Africa building, they gonna get jealous. And many of them, them will get frightened. They'll become frightened. Ooh, we can't let them uh, be able to defend themselves. Uh, we can't let them have nukes. Uh-uh. Nah, Africa, uh, the nations in Africa, they, they need to band together. They need to be able to protect themselves. Africa should not have their potential enemies telling them what they can do and what they cannot do in terms of military might, in terms of protecting themselves. Remember, this was got, what got Africa where it is in the first place, being trusting of their enemies. Uh-uh. Africa needs to fortify itself with a strong military. And I'm talking about a powerful military so that when Africa does rise with its leadership, it can protect itself. It can protect its people. Salute to all the, the leaders who have risen to the occasion who are ready to lead the right way, to be righteous, to do the right thing by the people of Africa. The rest got to go. And before I go, I'd like you to know, if you are part of the rest, the part who sell out the people for your own self-interest, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?